Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and uh, it's time for tea. That's right. Make sure you're taking a little time out for yourself every single day. Even if it's just five minutes to sit down and have a cup of tea or have a cup of coffee or you know whatever it is that you like to do to sit down and relax. Even if you have to sit yourself in the closet and lock the kids out for five minutes. Take a breather, you deserve it. I don't have kids, but I do like to sit down and have a cup of tea every single day. Now sometimes it's in a rush while I'm working and I shout to the hubby, I'm like, please fix me a cup of tea. And yes, he brings me tea and it just brings about a little sense of calm, even if it's infusing some caffeine into your system because it's tea and that's what tea does. Today, my tea is of course from my Sips by Box. This is a subscription tea service that I subscribe to. I pay for it and they ain't sponsoring me, but Joe, hit me up if you wanna do that. Um, I got my brand new box this week, May Teas, and uh, the teas are made for Deborah. That's right, you fill out a little survey doohickey on their site, and you can kind of eliminate things you don't wanna have or say, hey, I really like that. That is my timer for steeping, and it doesn't quite look dark enough yet, so I'm gonna let it steep just a little bit longer. Um, I get four teas a month, and basically it's four servings of each tea, so yeah, you get a lot of tea for that. Um, and here we go, on the sheet it says, just as April showers bring May flowers, something new and beautiful is in store for you in this box. Deborah, comma, Deborah. Yeah. We hope you find your new favorite sips in this bouquet of teas we picked for you. Don't forget to share your sips by box with us to enter to win a free month. Use hashtag sips by box. I really should do that. And tag at sips by and the brands below. XOXO team sips by. I've just enjoyed this subscription anyway, regardless of whether or not I win anything. It's been kind of fun four teas on here. The one I'm doing today, because I do want some caffeine today, is already open and it was a loose tea. By the way, if you do get loose teas, they send you um, a Muslim tea bag, but inside that are a bunch of disposable tea bags that you can use, single use, and then you can get rid of them. Yeah, they're actually pretty cool. I like them. Today's tea, and I will open this back up, does not have a resealable mechanism to it, which kind of, you know, makes me sad. Do better, guys. Tea Kitten is the brand. It is, oh God, that smelled so good when I opened it up again. Um, <clears throat> this flavor is Earl Grey Creme Vanilla. And I have to say it fancy like that because it does have the weird little accent over the cream. Okay, sips by Tea Kitten. Tea Kitten is the brand name there. One teaspoon per eight ounces of water. My mug is bigger, so it's one teaspoon, but I'm letting it steep a little longer. Uh, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 100 degrees Celsius, and um, it says, that means boiling. It can be boiling water when you put this in. Steep three to four minutes, okay? Black tea, marigold petals, and flavor. This one says, high caffeine. Woo, woo, when you need some energy, you can do it this way too. We think this classic English blend of black tea and bergamot with a twist of creamy vanilla is the cat's meow. Enjoy as is or with a splash of milk and your sweetener of choice. So I will be tasting it with and without those things. Um, yeah, this one has been steeping for about five minutes now. And yes, I like to t put my uh, clip there to hold the tea bag steady with the string because otherwise mine ends up floating around. Doesn't matter how long the string is or if you wrap the tag around, if there's a tag, I end up losing it. And yes, the clear mug is back and no, I will still not fix your computer. Um, not a very dark black tea. Boy, this is still steaming, stinking hot. Okay, but this has been over five minutes and it said three to four minutes, so we don't want it to get bitter. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. I've got a little plate over here. I'm not just dumping it on my table. Just not a super squeeze, but just gently squeezing some more of that tea out of it. And just so you can see that tea bag, that is, it really blew up from the teaspoon, didn't it? That is one of their disposable tea bags. 
And I imagine I could still steep another cup of tea out of that, quite honestly. All right. Have the mug. Time to sit here and blow on the tea. Oh, God, that smells wonderful. Earl Grey is actually my hubby's favorite tea. He loves it. Um, for me, it's English breakfast. Basically, black tea without the uh, bergamot. But I think that he'll really like this too. I'll make him a mug once he wakes up. Anybody who's new here, if you're wondering what I'm doing, if it's super hot, it will just burn my face off. So I have to cool it off just a little bit. If you've been here before, you know that. Thank you for coming back. Thank you if you're new for stopping in and having a mug of tea with me. That is quite nice, actually. I'm actually not getting vanilla out of this, but it does taste like a nice Earl Grey with that bergamot in it. And maybe the vanilla for me is just mellowing that out a little bit because normally the bergamot to me is just like, eh, it's a little off-putting and it's a little bitter to me, but it's nice. But now it is time for me to add some sweetener. I use a Stevia. This is actually Aldi's brand of Stevia Sweet Editions, one packet. And if you're not familiar, Aldi is a grocery store based over in Europe, but they've brought it to the U.S. So it's a little bit different, but it's, you know, the same, a lot of the same brands. Okay, put that in there. Stir it around. Dissolves pretty well. Adds a nice sweetness without any weird bitter aftertaste to me. Everybody's taste buds are different. So some, some people like it, some people don't. Mmm. Much better with a little sweetener to me. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. Gotta get another slurp of that. That is quite nice, actually. I could see myself enjoying a cup of this. But now, it says splash of milk. I love my vanilla creamer, and I think the vanilla creamer will help enhance the vanilla that's already in it. Cream vanilla, whatever it says in the description. Sugar free. Just a little bloop. I love watching it go around the mug. Yeah. Isn't that just fascinating and relaxing to watch that? Watch it make the clouds? Okay, maybe it's just me. I just, I like doing that. And coffee too. Yes. This is a cup of tea I'll make and enjoy again. Absolutely. Because I love black tea anyway. And the Earl Grey, usually, like I said, with the bergamot, it usually is like, mm, there's a little something in there. I just, not hitting my taste buds right. But this is actually quite nice with that extra, what does it say? I'm looking at the sheet. Creme vanille. Yeah, or creme vanille. Or may, I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to say there, but vanilla cream, y'all. Vanilla cream. Okay. And you cannot have Earl Grey anything without pretending to be Picard, at least for a minute, going, Earl Grey, hot. Love me some Picard. <laughs> mm. That other beeper is me preheating the oven to make something for snacks around the world. Mm -hmm. Not just something out of a sack today. We'll see. If you don't know about snacks around the world, every Tuesday, I try to bring another snack, another tasty thing, uh, maybe sometimes not so tasty, hmm, from somewhere around the world, somewhere that is not right here in my own neighborhood. So, yeah, be looking out for that. Every Tuesday, there's a playlist. It may have even shown up up here. Hmm. But I might sit down and drink my tea first because, dang, that's good. So do you have a tea subscription? I know there are several out there that are that are less expensive than Sips Buy. I know that. 
Um, I was introduced to this by Pamela Zadorian Crochet. I'd never heard of it before, and she does it on hers. So I was like, oh, that looks interesting. So I did go and order it one time. Whoa, what's going on with my hair? Hello. Oh, well. Um, and I decided to get it. And I love tea. So another a YouTube friend of mine is going to be doing a tea swap with people. And I think that's going to be fun. If you've never checked out Manic Mama Musings, Neva, I'll link her up there or down below, wherever. But just look up, you know, at Manic Mama Musings and she will definitely come up. She is awesome. She's out in New Mexico and she's doing a tea swap because she likes tea too. Yes, a bunch of tea lovers out here. I love tea, I love coffee, I love tequila, but I'm not going to do a tequila tasting. I don't buy tequila and stuff. The only time I ever have tequila is when I go out, I'll get a margarita sometimes and certain friends that I go out with will do a tequila shot because of course we do. But most of the time, it's something like tea or often diet lemonade because I do that as well. So what do you like to have as a beverage? What's your go-to beverage? A lot of people just drink water and props to you, okay? Most of the time, I just can't. It has to have a little flavor to it. Even if I'm just squeezing a lemon into it, and I don't just mean a slice of lemon, I'm squeezing a lot of lemon into it. Um, but maybe that's just, that. that is just me. It's not maybe it's just me, it's just me. But I like this. I used to drink a lot of sodas when I was younger. Sodas, pops, cokes, you know, wherever you're from, we got you. But now I find the carbonation really bothers me. It's too sharp in my mouth. I know that sounds weird. I did try a soda that was like took care of that problem. Oh my God. It was a, a tasting last week or the week before. Look for it. Okay. Mm. But I'm going to sit back and relax. I'm not going to fix your computer. <laughs> I don't have another clear mug, so this is what you get. Um, and I'm going to enjoy my tea. And then I'll be recording more videos today because you might know I work a lot during the week and I record a lot of videos on the weekend and just kind of space them out, you know, for my time during the week. So I will be recording um, my snacks around the world. I'll be recording another taste video as well. Mm -hmm. And maybe something else. I don't even know yet. No, really. I don't know yet. So <laughs> I hope that you are having a wonderful day, despite it being a Monday, because I know this is coming out on Monday morning. And um, sit down, have a cup of tea. Tell everybody to back off, man. Back off. We're having some tea right now. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate you so much. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me about what you like to drink as a beverage, or as an adult beverage, or as whatever you like to have. Um, and I'll hopefully see you next time and see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.